What's up, guys? If there's something I learned in the past year, it's that the youth is fucking retarded. And I don't say that lightly, I mean it. If I have to be more specific, I'm talking about the youth that is enamored with SoundCloud rap culture. And if you have a younger brother or sister between the ages of 12 and 18, then you know exactly the kind of person I'm talking about. If you don't, well, just imagine followers of a cult, but instead of being led the false promise of a better life, they're just followers who aren't promised anything, but will still do whatever you say. And if you're a SoundCloud rapper, then you might as well call yourself a cult leader, because once a group of kids finds your music and they hear their parents think it's whack, you could sell records of urine splashing on cement and still have a solid following. But I'm getting carried away. The reason for this video is because DJ Diabetes posted a video with the caption, Comedy Central makes horrid XXX Tentacion joke. Because, you know, Comedy Central is one of the best comedians ever. Aside from that caption being fucked, his caption was probably the blackest thing I've read all day. We ain't finna tolerate this. Comedy Central should be ashamed. Now, the comedian that made the joke, Dina Hasham, has since received backlash and death threats. And being that this joke was set on Comedy Central, makes this whole situation more ridiculous than it already is. So for those who haven't heard the joke, I'll leave a link to it in the description, because I don't want Comedy Central to copyright this, but I will do my best to match her delivery. Is anyone still mourning XXX Tentacion? He's a rapper who was murdered. He's dead now. He was shot. He was on his way to buy a car with $50,000 of cash, and somebody shot him and took the money. Which is very tragic, but I think also it would be a very good Venmo commercial, you know? That's it. And if you've seen the video, you know that I matched her delivery perfect. Now, I'm not saying the joke was funny. In fact, I'd rather watch every Amy Schumer stand-up special than watch any more of hers. And if you have a fully developed brain like me and many other Americans, then you know that this was just a lame joke and moved on with your life. I mean, I like his music too, but I'm not sending her death threats. I might send her new material, but a death threat wasn't even in my top 10. But it doesn't surprise me she got some. I'm sure all the threats were from kids 16 and under, but nonetheless, I seen it coming. The younger generation are such pussies when it comes to making fun of them or something they like. Make fun of 9-11 or the Holocaust? cost though? Fuck yeah bro, death, destruction, just what my teenage hormones need. Oh, but what's that? You made a joke about X? On jaw, say you playing. Like how ass backwards is that? And for them to call the joke horrid, like what? I'm 100% sure that if the joke was about Tupac or some older rapper that got was murdered, none of you would be saying shit and it'd just be another lame joke lost in the internet. And on top of that, they're saying Comedy Central should be ashamed. Guys, like I said in my Joe Rogan video, South Park and a bunch of other shows that make fun of people who were murdered, dead, they'll even make a joke about someone being murdered. They're still on the air, so I don't know what you guys are complaining about. I'm sorry you're closer to the age of the guy they made fun of. How about you grow some fucking nuts and take a page out of David Nelson's playbook? Words are like bullets, and I let them pass right through me. Like, have you guys not stumbled upon any edgy meme account on Instagram? Because if you haven't, I hate to break it to you, but your boy XXX is his own meme category. Whether it be his music, his death, his kid, there are a plethora of memes that are as bad, if not worse, than the joke she said. Like, if you think a stupid Venmo reference was a bad way to incorporate his death into a joke, please do not look up any more memes similar to the ones I just showed you. Your day will in fact be ruined. But if you do really want to see one, I left a link to one in the description. But yeah guys, you gotta stop crying and realize that people make jokes about everything, no matter how morbid. They can give two dead shits about your feelings. If you don't like people making edgy jokes no matter how unfunny, I think North Korea doesn't allow stuff like that. You might want to check them out. The reality of it is, her joke was unfunny and the people laughing were obviously intoxicated because I didn't even exhale through my nose when I heard that joke. And I laugh at some pretty offensive shit, but to go as far as to send her death threats because you have an unhealthy obsession with a rapper who you probably have no personal connection with whatsoever? In the words of the great iDubs, what are you, fucking gay? And for those who are gay, good for you. I'm mainly talking to the people who can't handle being called a homosexual. Until next time, you're gay.